tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. I just saw this, that Krishan Rock and Jason Lee hit a million views. The video went out about 22, 23 hours ago. It hasn't even been 24 hours, and it's already hit a million. So let me know in the comments, did you watch the Jason Lee, Krishan Rock interview? How did you feel about the interview? Was she telling the truth? Was she avoiding the truth? This is the biggest thing. It seems as if Blueface and Krishan want to be around each other at least once a week, once a month for a click and a view. If he's that horrible of a person, why does she keep going around him? Why does she keep being around him? Why does she say she love him? What are you teaching the younger generation? What are you teaching girls? If he's with someone else, just got proposed, why is she still talking about him? Why hasn't she moved on? Because it's basically clipbait for her. It's conversation. And she's basically trying to say he's miserable. The ring allegedly was not meant for Jaden. It was allegedly meant for her. So... Everybody talked about them being around each other, near each other, after her. Well, see, she, I think she did the Jason Lee interview a little while ago, maybe a week or two ago. But then they're trying to say, I think she was with him just recently. And um, Krishan Rock speaks on Blueface not being a present in his son's life. You ain't even by the baby any pampers. So I'm going to play it from my other phone. For some odd reason, this great iPhone that I have, the the uh, volume, for some odd reason, is not as good as it should be. So we're going to play it from here. But we get that she's frustrated. But why stay around him? Why be around him? Just why can't she let him go if he's engaged? The fuck? You're miserable. Wherever you at, you're very, very miserable. And it's like, all right, cut the bullshit, boy. I got a son. So, I don't know. How you rocking? But nigga, I got a kid. Like, that's how I'm looking at it. Like, what's up? And it's not just my kid. It's your kid, too. What? Let's revisit this conversation. Why are you a deadbeat-ass father? Cuz, you all on live. It be niggas around you. I don't want that around my son. Da 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 da. Then change the situation, bro. And I don't have just niggas around me. They're my friends and family. The fuck? Nobody pick up my son. Act like father, step daddy. They don't act like father or step daddy. So what are you worried about? The fuck? The fuck? You're miserable. Wherever you at, you're very, very miserable. And it's like, all right. Cut the bullshit, boy. I got a son. Next clip. So, he even bought a baby of... And that's the biggest thing. Why is she staying in it? Why don't she let go? Why don't she move on? Why don't she date somebody else? In the Jason Lee interview, didn't she say she dating another dude that don't really fool with social media? So why isn't she giving him that energy? Why is she allegedly still messing around with Blueface? That's what a lot of us don't understand. Acting like... What you acting like? Like real shit. It's pissing me the fuck off. You goofy as shit. Big goofy. Stop fucking tweeting. The fuck? I bought you because I was ready to say something I didn't want to say. 
But why the fuck are you going through my phone? And deleting shit. Literally. Because remember, she was on Jason and Lee's every time show, I try to fuck with show you receipt. Down low, I be realized why I shouldn't fuck with you at all. You go back and do some weak, bullshit ass, bitch ass shit. He even bought a baby a fucking pimper. What the fuck is you mad about something? Who, who he's around? Who's taking care of him? You're not taking care of shit though. That's the other thing. You acting like you sent like a case of fucking wipes and pampers. Now you can pop your shit. You ain't send shit, so stop popping your shit. The fuck? And stop acting like what you acting like. Like real shit. It's pissing me the fuck off. You goofy as shit. So we about to play in the next clip. So why isn't she setting guidelines on what he needs to help her with? You know, they keep going back and forth. He said, not my child. I only got one baby mama. I only got so many kids. Allegedly, they were saying he's trying to say that the test was not true. But the biggest thing is she needs help. If she needs help, she needs help. He may need to send her something. But he may feel like, I'm not sending you nothing. I already got what I needed. You saying you're going to go your way. But even in the Jason Lee interview, she had said she ain't had no problem letting him handle the money until she got her stuff right. But she was also concerned about setting up different bank accounts, setting up different things. You can have a bank account anywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can set it up in Chicago, but you really live, you know, in Vegas. They can't find you based on your bank account. Now, they can find you based on your ID and maybe her ID wasn't valid. And then she was like, okay, if I say I live here, then they're going to find me. But the biggest thing is you can't run always. You got to have your stuff in order. So, I bought you because I was ready to say something I didn't want to say. But why the fuck are you going through my phone? And deleting shit. Literally. And then every time I try to fuck with you on the down low, I be realized why I shouldn't fuck with you at all. So, it's always something with them. They like being by each other. They like being near each other. They like talking about each other. Her interview, like I said, got 1 million views. I think it's at 1.2. Let me know in the comments. Did you watch it? What did you think about the interview? Do you think she was answering the questions? Do you think she was hiding something? Do you think certain times she would show proof and ask you want to see proof? I mean, she pulled up stuff and he was reading it. And I think he just didn't want to delay the interview. She definitely wanted to hold the baby through the interview. And he was like, no, everybody was kind of, I kind of noticed that she, she was still, you know, a little hyper and they should have just had the baby like in like a little bassinet, a little stroller. That way she could, you know, put her hand on the baby or something. But the baby was kind of moving around with her. She was already moving around a lot in the video. So of course she going to do that same thing when the baby is in her hand. But she seems like a loving mother. She has said, you know, when she first had the baby, she would allow the baby to sleep two, three hours, four hours, and then she'd have to get up. And of course, when it's like that, you do need somebody to help you just get a full eight hours. And if Blueface isn't there, she don't trust a lot of people with her child, then she was basically saying, I had to get up every time. I didn't get the proper amount of sleep in the beginning. And it might have been because of his medical issue. They were kind of like, just keep an eye on him. You know what I'm saying? That way he's fed, see what he needs, da 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 da, da. Well wishes. Blueface and Krishan, they don't know how to stay away from each other. They probably never will. He got engaged. She's saying he's miserable. That's not what he wanted to do. But he, it is what it is. And then allegedly, Krishan was on the phone with Blueface and Jaden's in the background yelling. And it's kind of like, okay, well, you're not spending time with the son. So I know that you're not calling about spending time with the son. You're calling to talk to her. And then Krishan had basically said they update each other on what's going on with each other. So well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about these two. They're the biggest topic. We talk about this show talks about healthy and unhealthy relationships. It is what it is. I talk about it because I want people to be aware what not to do, what not to look for. You know, and to hopefully teach younger girls not to get in this type of relationship. He already, already had two kids. He already had a baby mama that he was with for years. So he's comfortable there. But then allegedly she got tired of him cheating. And Krishan was like, Blueface had her on some kind of curfew or something, which is weird. And then he's sticking and moving all over. She was like, he just community. 
Okay. Well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.